Hello and welcome back to the League of Idiots channel. I'm Robin 3 and we now have to go and tell Shawnee that Alvin is staying over at Triss's. That's not really what I thought I had to do. Well, I guess not thought. It's more like I didn't want to have to be the one to do it. I was hoping maybe she just send an email or something. But, nope. We have to go in person and tell her that instead of bringing Alvin, the magical super kid wizard, or wizard to be, I presume, that we sent him over to Shawnee instead of her. Although, to be fair, I don't know what Shawnee could have done with the kid. Maybe hide him or something. It's not really the smartest choice. But do I actually have to go and locate her at her house or is she just gonna automatically trigger around here? Oh, and it's raining. So perfect weather to tell you that, oh hey, by the way, I didn't do what you told me to and I decided to do quite the opposite. No matter. Might as well just get it done, get it over with. Then I might go and try and attend at the banquet and find out what, I guess, the... Who, who was going to meet me there? Yeah, Luvardin's reception. So Luvardin is that guy I spent, I gave 500 cash orins in order to get that set for us. So I wonder what he has to, like, I guess, talk about or something. That's the only thing I could think of. Like, what else would he be? Would you want me to go there for? Marius Princess or something? Huh. Grandma didn't come and meet me. Great. But Shawnee's not. Oh no, she is. She's over here. All right. Let's see what happens. It's all well, Geralt. Oh, she. She, she just doesn't even question me about Alvin. That's. That's really peculiar. I would thought she would be more worried about him or something. I left the boy with Triss to keep him safe. How could you? She cast a spell on you. Out of my sight. I will forget your very name. Wow, she is just completely livid. Let's follow through with this quest line first, though. So, back to Triss. I could probably take a shortcut. Or, I should have taken the shortcut to get here in the first place. There's a teleporter at Kalkstein's house that I can just take. Where is his house? Oh, he's back here in the non-human quarter. Makes me rich. Uh, here we go. Kalkstein's old house. He doesn't really live here anymore. He just hangs out at the tower all day, all night. And performs magic chair tricks to make them stand on edge. Okay. I guess that's that's where his uh, research has been sending him to, figuring out how to completely take control of chairs and their properties to gravity. So what would Triss have us do now that Alvin is in her care? Are we going to fetch some kind of training supplies? Or are we going to meet them in some secret grove to disperse that energy? So up. Uh, Geralt. Uh, I spoke with Shani. She understood, but didn't take it too well. I'm glad that's settled. Alvin needs someone who knows magic. Geralt. I, I agree. I wanted to talk to you about the future. About us. Triss. I'm not jealous. I'd just like to know where we are. Can't this wait? I have this job. Clients getting impatient. Please think about it, Geralt. We needn't talk. A symbolic gift would do. Say, a ring? Couldn't you just read my mind? I could. But I don't want to. If you give me a ring, I'll treat it as a pledge. If you don't, I'll try to understand. See you, Witcher. Wow, this is really serious. She wants me to give her a ring. Geralt, how's Alvin? Dandelion, do you always have to butt your nose into... Just asking. Something troubling you? She's just... Uh, I don't know anymore. Let's go. Can't talk about women on an empty stomach. But... Here, here. Zoltan and I agreed to have a drink today. 
A mercenary dwarf and a wandering troubadour who knows all the loose women in town. I couldn't choose better advisors. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, so are we gonna head to the inn or something? Have a drink? Hey, Zoltan. Greetings, Dandelion. Get out. Man, those close ups. Uh, Monster Slayer looks better. Something happened? Nothing you need to know. Geralt is experiencing cognitive dissonance, a rather unpleasant tension that accompanies the appearance of two conflicting cognitions, be they thoughts or judgments. You're so full of shit, Dandelion. Simply put, he cannot decide. I assume the dissonance relates to. My dissonance is nothing to you. That's where you're wrong, Geralt. We're your only friends, and friends help each other. You'll see. We'll have a drink, and you'll know exactly what to do about Triss. Somehow I don't think so. Ooh, the vodka's nicely chilled. Gentlemen, cheers. Damn all To Geralt's health. Oh, I'm drunk again. This is gonna be fun. Ooh, delicious. Nothing like a good belt of liquor. Yeah, not bad. Incidentally, Zoltan, why are we drinking from tankards? I swear I saw glass in here. Serious problems require serious solutions. Half measures get you nowhere. I get it. Half measures for Dandelion, though. He yammers enough as it is. Will you stop whimpering like a spoiled lass and spit it out? Triss is a fine woman. But? But I'm a witcher. Killing monsters is my destiny. Don't bullshit me about destiny, Geralt. I realized long ago that all those pathetic bits by Etlina and the like are the same crap and humbug as those dissonances. You may be right, but honestly, do you see me as a cobbler or a farmer? Mm, no. I guess I see your point. Damn it, I don't get it. What's one got to do with the other? No one said you'd have to stop slaying monsters, right? She oh, didn't say either way. Let me explain, Dandelion. Just because a woman doesn't say it, doesn't mean she doesn't want it. In fact, they often say they want something when they really want the opposite. I'll drink to that. And another drink down the hatch. Who's behind this? Oof. Strong enough to make you cry. I'll tell you what's up with dames. You can theorize all you want, but you'll never figure out what's going on inside their heads. There's just no understanding women. Highly original, Dandelion. Sneer away, but you won't put me off. The problem is you don't know what you want. And you don't know what you're talking about. And one Dandelion was enough, family, but two. But I am a poet. I know something about people. Tell me this. Do you want a family or not? Oh. Dandelion, it's not that simple. Answer the question. You know what I mean. If it weren't for this mess, Scoyatel, the Order, Salamandra. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with number two. There's really no point in speculating if it's if that's not the situation we're in. We're Geralt's a Witcher. Witchers are sterile, and so they're just. There's no point in speculating. Ha! I knew it. Don't get excited, Dandelion. I just have my doubts. Only a fool has no doubt. <coughs> Let's have another drink. Oh, man. Yeah, Not another one. <laughs> oh, God. Completely intoxicated at this point. I know. Let's go to a whorehouse. Make it your stag night. Dandelion, we were talking about <laughs> relationships in case you didn't notice. Besides... It won't let me in. I'm a filthy non-human. Only the weight of your purse counts at the house of the night. Besides, the madam owes me a favor. Come on, Geralt. Live a little. Uh, I'm not gonna go there. I just don't feel like no. it. No. End of sound, Geralt. If your Dora found out, believe me, you don't want to get in the way of a mad dwarf woman. I believe that. Me too. Gentlemen, time to get this show on the road. The ideas are getting dumber by the minute. There's a bit left at the bottom of the bottle. One for the road. Not another one. So be it. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> That's four drinks now. I can barely see what's going on.
It's gonna pass out. Oh, great. I arrived stumbling drunk at Triss's house. Barely able to walk, barely able to see. Don't don't look, Alvin. This isn't me. This I've made mistakes. Just to, don't drink. Man, this is painfully slow to get there. It was bad enough fighting off plants, intoxicated, but trying to make my way around the house is just okay. I'm just I went the wrong way. She's upstairs, right? Come on, girl. Just... Nope. Don't, don't, don't stop now. We're not there yet. You can make it. Just put one foot in front of the other. And then take steps forward. <laughs> can I just pass out, meditate, and get this over with and just wake up next morning? I thought he had an extreme metabolism or something. They could just metabolize all this alcohol. Where is she? Okay, she's over there by the dressing room. Or, not dressing room, the dresser. Um, and the room is spinning a little. Or a lot. Almost there. Okay, here we go. Geralt, you reek and have woken all the neighbors. What kind of role model are you? Uh, not a good one. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to talk to her because the only thing that Geralt could say would just mess everything up completely. Just sleep it off. Just, just don't say anything stupid. Sleep it off. All right, much better. Now I can go ahead and talk with Triss while... Not being drunk. Because otherwise, I think I'd just be kicked out. You're so good with Alvin. Yes, I am. Okay, so. Is, oh, that's right. I need to. I'll see you later. I need to buy a ring or something. Let me take a look at the quest, see how that's passed on or moved on. Okay, so. It's no longer on the menu as far as quests go but I can give her a ring and have her get happy from that and then I'll go rest up a little bit more and tend that occasion in the evening ring two there should be the vendor over in the trade district here at the shops oh game doesn't like me transferring into this area there's a lot of things to render all right, let me see here. Got the alchemist, blacksmith, Rakinian, vendor. Yeah, he's gonna be around here somewhere. Oh, over there's the merchant who warned me about the salamandra, so to say. Do I know you? There we go. Exotic. Oh wait, this isn't the guy. But he does have some pretty expensive books, I remember that. There's the guy who sells information. This guy sells a bunch of booze. No reason to be here, white -haired one. How about you? I'm no seller. I'm meeting my business partners here. Huh. I could have sworn there was one guy here who was selling a bunch of uh, jewels and such. Oh, books. I could use a, a book. book perhaps. Indeed, I could use a good book. Ooh, we got a few scrolls of alchemy here. They're they're not so expensive either. Let's see, this is a bomb. I I'm not gonna be using any of that. Okay, never mind, these are just bombs. Secret of Southern Master, another set of bombs. How about here? What do we got? Plants of the Barren Lands, Great Book of Minerals, and Druid's Herbarium. Oh we got fish people here and how to talk with them and such. That's, that's really interesting, but it doesn't tell me exactly how to, uh, I guess, talk with them using the statue. It just tells me how to skin them alive. <laughs> okay, well that's interesting. 
Maybe for later, once I know what I'm looking for as far as books go. So where is this vendor? We got an alchemist over there. He's probably just gonna sell a bunch of alchemical potions and such, but I can craft those for myself. Oh, okay, here we go. Textile vendor. He probably has it, right? No? Where, where is the trader? There was a trader here. I remember trading for that ruby the first time. Is he not here? Yeah, I could have sworn he was standing right there over there. Oh, this is this is the guy. Yeah. Greetings, noble sir. What do you pleasing trifle? Hi, sir. Let's see them. How can I? Let's see. You should have a valuable ring, correct? Silver ruby. Then we get the gold ruby signet. Yeah, I'm I'm feeling pretty fancy. I'll I'll go ahead and purchase the gold ruby signet. And in return, I'll say, er, wait. I already have a silver signet ring. Um, yeah, instead of going the extra mile to get the ruby one, because I like red, I'm just gonna give her this silver one because I have it on me. Hopefully she doesn't, she isn't displeased by this. It's, it's, it's silver, I mean, that's pretty valuable in itself. It's not as valuable as gold, I believe, but still silver and it's got a nice stone on it You're it's a beautiful ring but love you know makes me think of blood coursing madly crimson oh she wants a ruby ring of course she wants a ruby ring <laughs> not as not a bluish aquamarine ring oh that's that's odd we got a glimpse of what it it loads when you run outside immediately. Okay, so the game's punishing me a little bit right there for trying to get away with something cheap. If I would just bought the ruby ring, I wouldn't have to go back here, but oh well. Where is the merchant? Is this the guy? Was he wearing a pink shirt though? How can I? No, this is the guy. All right, here, take this one, and in exchange, I will take this more valuable ring. We'll see what she thinks about it. Then I'll go ahead and do the meditation to the evening. See what Luvardin wants with me. Okay, and rupee ring. So you love me, and have forgotten her? Triss, I... You're sweet, you know. The only one I trust. You've endured a lot. Time for a reward. The little one's asleep, so let me show you some real magic. I see. Oh, that's gonna get censored. But we've taken one more step closer to always being with Triss from now on. So I wonder, does this mean that my my personality is sort of leaning more towards Triss's history and me? And if so, I wonder what kind of story that's going to tell. So, let's see. Journal, journal, journal. What do we got? Going to track this. Okay, so the new Naracourt Inn is over here. I can make my way through here. But what time is it? It's not the evening, I believe. No, it's still the mid-afternoon. So I'm gonna come here and do one more rest. You're s okay, where are we at? Oh, it's right in the noon, so yeah, I'm gonna have to meditate seven hours. Okay, to Lavardin's inn for, well, I guess it's not his inn, but it's the inn he chose to have his party at. Should just be down here, take a right, and the inn. I 
I'm itching for some combat though, so hopefully this party gets a little rowdy and has me involve myself. There's a lot of drunk people all around, but don't want to converse with them. Here we are. A fine party. I guess this isn't really much of a party, this is more of a... Whoa! These floors are spit-shined. I can see the reflection with them. So where is the Varden? Triss is here too. What? Here we are. Wipe the uh, off your face. What happened? Am I drunk already? Can't we go back to your place? Make sure I have no internal injuries. Later, Geralt. Okay, mm -hmm. something weird's going on with the camera there, so but oh well. Let's mingle. Mm -hmm. Get out of my sight. Okay, he hates witchers. But what about her? Milady, allow me to present the sorceress Triss Merigold. And Duet, I know who stands before me. We know each other, do we not, Witcher? One could How many so ladies much. does w A the Witcher know? Indeed, though I do not always feel like one. So many duties. You could not imagine, Witcher. Why do you stare? Is my dress displeasing? Um. Okay, she sort of just wandered off the screen, but this is where I want to find out a bit more. The curse, like wh wh what's Geralt talking about? I see you still wear the gemstone with the inclusion. The curse. Shut your filthy mouth, mutant. But the curse may yet. Enough, your highness. Allow me to cast this drifter out. We no longer desire to speak with you. Step away. Whoa, that was... That was uncalled for. Instantly getting hostile. So something's going on there. Oh, daughter. I didn't, didn't know you were hanging around here. So this is where you went to. Geralt, have you met Taller? Taller? Here? Let me introduce my master, the Honorable Erkin Von Blunt. Good day, sir. Erkin has taken a vow of silence and thus cannot answer. You must be wondering why he is here. Indeed. He has made numerous vows in his life, one of which is to protect the royal family. Sadly, for unknown reasons, Princess Ada holds little respect for him. Vows, however, must be honored, whatever the circumstances. And how are you involved? Are you bound by his vows by extension? He authorized me to speak on his behalf. And I serve as his advisor. Of course. We shan't be bothering you. Come, Geralt. Okay, so Erkin Blunt, the knight sworn to protect Ada, who is wearing a cursed jewel, and Thaller, Taller, I guess, that's how you pronounce it, is involved in all this somehow. Geralt of Rivia and Triss Merigold, welcome! Greetings. I thank you for coming. Uh, look about the room and you will see the entire kingdom represented. We thank you for your invitation. Forgive me, I must return to my duties. I'm certain we'll speak later. Okay, so he just starts to introduce us. So, what about this guy? What does this guy have to do? Or, why is he here? Geralt, allow me to introduce Burgomeister Velarad. Charmed. Greetings. It's uh, been a while. Velarad is King Foltest's right hand. No need for formal introductions. If you wish to open a factory or a shop, uh, kill a monster or petition the king, you must come to me. I'll remember that. Excuse us, Burgermeister, but we need to say hello to the other guests. Okay. You've met everyone who's anyone. I need to speak with Levarden. You behave yourself. Beware of anyone who tries to pry information from you. From me? But I'm just a witcher. Don't be fooled. Anything you say may have political ramifications. Interesting. Okay, so what are guests are there? 
We've talked to everyone pretty important. What about this room? Those damned elves are the worst of it. Make me want to puke. Everybody knows elves are scum. If I run into one, I'll have him in pain. Take it to go. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a look, see what we got here. Got some Niffle Garden, some foreign land stuff. Talking about different empires, particular Nilfgaard. Okay, I can just jot that on the floor. And what is this? A note written hastily in sloppy handwriting. This could only mean one thing. A plot. Okay, what do we got here? Make sure no other traces vanish. Uh, forgery. What, what forgery? What's going on here? Okay, then. This, this raises red flags immediately. So, wait, who wrote this? Oh, Toller wrote this. So, yeah, I knew he wasn't innocent about anything. So what's up with this? Why are you here? Huh? I, I was looking for the privy. In that box? Um... Okay, this is, here's a good one. Point for you. Truth is, I was hoping for a superior drink. Yeah, let's do this. Point for you. Truth is, I was hoping for a superior drink. The wine does taste watered down. Okay, good. I found some liquor. Try some? Gladly. <laughs> we we got away with it by just drinking. <laughs> Alright, can I get away with some of these other ones? Okay, got some pepper vodka, which I can turn into white gully later. Okay, and I got away with this. I got this note, and now I I guess I should maybe talk to Triss. Oh, wait a second. Who was... Was that just some random guy? Or was... That must have been some random wealthy merchant. For a second there, I, I thought he was... He was this guy, Declan Luvarden. So, what the hell's up with you, Dollar? Why are you trying to kill me? Exquisitely. Not enough food, nowhere to sit, and nothing but small talk. And I may be the only one here not involved in one of the many schemes or secret alliances being forged. It's a sign of the times. New customs and fashions. You think it better to show the Nilfgaardian we're barbarians? That we can't distinguish between a fork and a comb? But the only way we know how to feast is to get blind drunk and roar lusty songs while slapping the serving wenches on their ass. I'm a relic, someone from the past, so I'm rather attached to the old customs. Never understood nor liked the new ones. But really, Toller, why are you here? I'm a patriot. I'm the good of the kingdom at heart. A kingdom threatened by the schemes and alliances you were observant enough to note. I said I was an old-fashioned witcher. Be straight, like Taller the Fence would be. Taller the Fence does nothing for free. Taller the Fence is a scoundrel who'd prefer the Temple District not know he consorts with the cream of Vizima society. Have it your way. Let me tell you, friend, a serious slash fest is in the works. One without pardon. The defeated will be picked apart by crows. You'll be forced to fight for a new order, comrade, or against it. We will fight for our traditions and customs, for our land and our women. Who's this enemy? Who wants to steal our women? I wouldn't deceive you. I think you're one of us. It's a cause we share. I don't know the enemy yet, but I will soon, and when I do, the time of the sword and the axe will come. Blood will flow in the streets. And know this, comrade. There will be no room for your neutrality. Okay, so there's a lot here that we need to dissect. I don't think Taller is a simple merchant by trade. He's got some other wicked, I guess, masteries going on with him. So, what do we talk about? Who exactly is DeWitt? Who exactly is DeWitt? 
And what is he doing here? That Nilfgaardian dog is a mere pawn. I cannot fathom why Ada tolerates him. Explain. Like most knights of the order, he worries his dick's too small. So he gets aggressive whenever something scares him. Then, of course, he's a Nilfgaardian. Our princess has some weaknesses, but stupidity is not one of them. Maybe the princess has a game of her own going. Then she should choose better allies. Unlike chess, this game claims lives. I'm afraid someone might be using her. Yeah, someone who gave her that cursed jewel, I believe. So, I know Luvarin is involved somehow. He's, the, he's probably the richest guy in the kingdom, or in this castle area, or... Just the kingdom sounds better. So I'll, I'll just say with the kingdom, but Who exactly what about you? Who are you? And be straight with me, comrade. Temerian intelligence. I execute the king's direct orders. I find traitors, rats, and foreign agents. I'm a spy. I knew a it. A highly placed spy. I can't deny it. May I ask a personal question? The amphibians you're after, are they a personal matter or an ideological one? They're a little of both, I believe. Both. Care to explain? They robbed me and killed a friend. They're criminal, evil. Salamandra upsets the balance. As a witcher, I can't ignore that. Got it. Thank you for being candid. Okay, so... What about this? Why do you want to draw me into the game that doesn't concern me? Why do you me? want to draw me into a game that doesn't concern me? This game concerns you more than you imagine. You mean to tell me you're not interested in the conflict between the Order and the Scoia'tael? You mean to tell me you don't care? What about your lover, Triss Merigold? That's private. I want to destroy Salamandra. That is my only objective. Salamandra has a patron. Someone in this room, or one known here. You're up to your ears in this, Wolf, whether you like it or not. That's true. Okay, so let's see what else he has to tell us about Luvarden. I need to get Urk in a private meeting with him. At present, his intentions are a pure riddle. To me, too. Really? What do you mean? Your friend seems to get along famously with Luvarden. For two strangers, they certainly have much to discuss. See for yourself. I trust Triss. I suppose you know her better than I, but don't say I didn't warn you. Regarding Luvarden, we know he heads some transnational organization of merchants, bankers, and other wealthy folk. Make what you will of it. Yeah, he's got his, foot, his uh, Excuse me for finger in everyone's pie. We'll talk later. Give me a minute. I need to get a bite. So, this, this part is going on for a bit longer than I expected. So I'm going to end the episode here. If you liked the video, like and subscribe, and I will catch you in another episode.